very, very hot, unusually hot in, uh, in L.A. The moon was out. An August night in an exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood, sea breezes through the palms of a glamorous home as the owner, dashing L.A. businessman Don Bohanna and his divorcee girlfriend, Dee Dee, relax by his backyard pool. We go out to the pool to have a couple of drinks at Mars, we sometimes have a cigarette. It's very, you know, romantic. We ended up going into the jacuzzi, and she swam over to the light. Then I noticed she was moving. I jumped in, put my arms around her, and then took her out of the pool. At that time, then I started doing CPR on her. You know, I, I couldn't believe it. I just went numb. So what happened in this pool on that night? Was it a simple drowning? Was there too much wine? Was the pool just too deep? There were no witnesses, just the two lovers. One drowned, the other now in a California prison, where he can only tell his story over the phone. He says he's in prison today because the woman who drowned here was L.A. royalty, divorced from one of the Jackson Five. Here, the Jackson Five. The Jackson Five, now legendary, catapulting to stardom in 1969. Oh, baby, kill me, After we first saw them on The Ed Sullivan Show. You're going to bust every record in the country. It's wonderful to have you on our show. The Jacksons were kind of like the Beatles in a sense. People would literally faint right in front of them. Dancing, dancing, dancing. And we all know the hits, Dancing Machine and I'll Be There, courtesy of the five brothers. Jermaine, little Michael, of course, Jackie, Marlon, and then there was Tito, the second oldest, memorable mainly because he danced with a musical instrument. He was the one that played the guitar. <laughs> And he will never be forgotten because of that. The guitar dancer found a new partner at Fairfax High School in Los Angeles, where he met fellow student Dolores Didi Martez. She had ran up to me and said, happy birthday, and gave me a kiss on the cheek. So what was attractive to you about Didi? Well, I was a shy young man, and for her to be so outgoing, and uh, I just found that fascinating. The shy young man is now an international superstar. Yet with Dee Dee, they're just typical high school kids. She didn't even care about him being a member of the Jacksons. She just cared about him. In 1972, the two married right out of high school, and Dee Dee became part of the whirlwind of fame surrounding the Jacksons. She was like one of the sisters. She had a, a little apple green Vega. She used to let Michael drive it up and down the driveways. Those were good old days. Sister-in-law Dee Dee stayed in the background, <laughs> far more focused on raising three sons, Taj, Terrell, and TJ, who bear a striking resemblance to their older, more recognizable Jackson relatives. Yeah, that's sweet. They would go on tour. So a lot of the times it was us three and mom at home. She's very tough, and, and um, but at the same time loving. She's really passionate about being a mother. For Dee Dee, school and Little League Baseball, the local Encino ball field is named in her honor, are far more important than the red carpet and fame and fortune. I think my mom knew that it was not going to be a quote unquote normal life, so she made it as normal as possible. Still, just like their famous dad and uncles, the three boys start playing music at a young age. Take our father's um, outfits, and even if they were oversized, we put them on, and we were the Jacksons. The boys formed the group 3T, and eventually in the 90s, they'll be playing stadiums and making records. But while their children's careers are on the rise, Tito and Dee Dee's marriage is on the rocks. It wasn't an, a, a bad divorce where you no. guys didn't like each other. Right? No, it wasn't. It's was just differences. It's L.A. in the mid-90s. The now 39-year-old Dee Dee is hitting the dating market and meets what looks like a potential prize catch, L.A. businessman Don Bohanna. He's 20 years older, 59, handsome, wealthy, and successful, making his fortune running hospitals and insurance companies. He was articulate. He was professional. He was always well-dressed. I mean, I don't know anybody that didn't like Don Bohanna. The urbane debonair Bohanna lives the high life, owning a fleet of luxury cars and his own plane, his own boat, hobnobbing with politicians and celebrities. 
Bohanna is also known as someone who gives back to the community. One, two, three, three. Making a big splash for opening a Denny's in Watts, the first sit-down restaurant in the poor black neighborhood since the riots of 1965. I believe in putting people to work within their community, and that's the change. That's the making a statement. A divorcee himself, Bohanna meets the bubbly Dee Dee Jackson in the spring of 1994. Daughter Donna, who's about to be married at the time, is impressed when she volunteers to help out. She became very animated about it and supportive, and I thought, wow, my, my dad's new girlfriend is really cool. But among Dee Dee's young sons, a totally different vibe. Very cold, um, didn't speak, and I didn't really care for him. Well, Hannah and Dee Dee have been dating just 12 weeks when in August 1994, she drops by his home in the exclusive Ladera Heights neighborhood. It's 11 in the evening. After a late dinner, the two start the weekend ritual, drinking, wine for Bohanna, rum and coke for Dee Dee. Around midnight, Dee Dee gets on the phone with Donna. They seem to be in pleasant spirits, and they seem to be having a great time. There was no hint of discord or anger. No, or there had never been <laughs> in, at any time. Soon after that, the two lovers get into the hot tub, and the drinks keep flowing poolside. Then at 3.30 in the morning, 911 gets this emergency call. Now, what's the problem, sir? Someone's throwing my pool. He's drowning. Six foot holes. Who's drowning? Come on, six foot holes. Hang on, hang on. The lives of two families upended by tragedy. It was just a nightmare. It was like a kid's worst memory. Dee Dee Jackson, helpless in 15 feet of water. What is she doing in water? Dee Dee and I, neither one of us swam. So why was she in the water at all? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.